Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Chat. I'm pretty sure that we're on to our sixth episode of Let's Chat, and it's been great every Monday morning being able to talk to you about different weight loss issues, but most importantly, how to lose weight for the very last time. For me, it's always been about long term. I get lots of questions. How do I lose weight? What's the best food? What's the best exercise? What's the best way to put yourself into a routine? There's so many questions out there. But I like to keep it really basic when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. Because that is what is needed, is to keep it basic. And if we're not doing the basic steps to losing weight for, for the very last time, then we're way too ahead of ourselves. And what I mean by steps, simple things. We look at things like, for example, how much sleep you are having, how much water you are drinking, the food that you are eating, doing any sort of movement. So when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, there is no quick fix, quick solution, quick tablet, potion, any of that, because we have all been there before. We've all been on that merry-go, weight loss merry-go round on roller coaster, and we've tried all the different broken promises that the weight loss industry has thrown to us. And they'll keep on throwing these, these little carrots to, to tempt us to try the new way or new solution, or someone's come up with a great new superfood or super exercise or super routine. But you don't need any of that. What you do need, where the magic does begin, is with you. So today, let's talk about consistency. Consistency is what a lot of people say is key. But there's lots of keys that will unlock you from and moving towards losing weight for the very last time. There's so many tools and so many words and so many ways of doing things. But consistency is promising yourself that you're going to do something continuously. You're always going to show up. 90% of the time is just showing up and being ready and just doing it. Yes, there'll be times that you don't want to do it. Not because you don't desire to lose weight for the very last time. It's got nothing to do with that. You may be t tired, demotivated. That can stop you from doing this. Like this morning, I, really fl I didn't really want to go for a run. I was tired, my hamstrings were sore, but I've always been consistent in my movement. I love to run, so whenever I exercise, I do something that I love. Because if you do something that you don't love, then you're not going to be consistent with it. So consistency is about embracing the reality that yes, I want to lose weight for the very last time. That is a reality. And when it comes to consistency, we need to plan it out. I mean, we need to have that, that plan of attack. Okay, what are we going to do today? What is our plan? Because if we don't have a plan, then we're gonna feel that we're all over the place. And we feel that we've got no rhythm or no routine. And that's what you need for consistency. So what is your plan for the next 24 hours? Do you know what you're gonna eat for the next 24 hours? Have you prepared your meals? Because when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, planning really helps you and guides you and gives that routine of what is coming up. And yes, in the beginning, we need that. We need that routine. We need that guidance for us to form new habits and new behaviors and get into that rhythm. So consistency is doing things that you promise yourself you're going to do, even at times where you're not getting results. And I mean, if you're not getting results, it can be a real downer, but it's the consistency of doing things over and over and over. How many people, how many famous people out there, 
that's taken him a number of times to come up with a great idea or get the results. Consistency. How many times did Michael Jordan shoot that ball through the hoop? How many times to perfect the art of being the, one of the greatest or the greatest basketballer of all time? He must have thrown millions of balls through that hoop. It's consistency. It's practice. It's repeat, 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 repeat. And that's what forms habits. And that's all about being consistent always through. Yes, and it also means about losing the excuses. We've all got them. I'm too tired, don't have time, don't have the money, don't know the know-how. We, we keep on throwing these things in front of us and excuses for not doing things. Instead of finding an excuse, no, look for a reason why you are doing what you're doing. And that's what you be about consistency. And I go back to this morning where I didn't feel like going for a run. It isn't because I hate running. I love running. And I do it consistency. So whatever you do, whatever you eat, however you move, make it enjoyable. Because if it's not enjoyable, you're going to hate it. If you're going to hate it, then you're, not gonna, you're gonna do it only for a short period of time because you're gonna resent it so much. It's like diets, diets. They take things away from you. It's restricted. And you think, I hate this. I don't wanna eat any more rice and fish and broccoli or salads. Can you see yourself doing that for the rest of your life? And if the answer is no, and 99% of the time is no, then it's not enjoyable. You're gonna hate it, you're not gonna be consistent, you may do it for the first four or five weeks, and guess what? Boom, it's out the door because you can't see yourself doing it forever. Consistency is doing things day in, day out, relentlessly, working hard, and doing it even at times we're not getting results, or not getting the results as quick as you want it to go. Because the results will come, the boom, it will happen. All the results keep on coming. It's just chipping away and chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. That's what you need to do. We've all been, I've been there. To me, there's been times where I've had setbacks, but I've never given up. I keep on going. Setbacks will always be there. Setbacks will test us. Will say to us, do you really want this? Do you really desire this? Now, always going back to your why is going to help you being consistent because you don't have a, a, a reason why you want to do it and you fall upon that. Well, why are you doing it in the first place? Why are you losing your weight for the very last time? What is it going to give you in your return? Freedom, happiness, you're going to run, you're going to buy new clothes, make you be able to tick things off your bucket list, play with your children, travel. What is it? Because whenever we invest in something, and we are investing our lives, our body, our health, what are we going to get back in return? What is the payoff? What is the reward? What is it that you really want from it? And that's what you need to draw upon when you get step backs, when you don't feel like doing something, you don't have the consistency. Because we need to look at all of that. And the best way to get consistency is the first thing in the morning. Use a morning routine or a morning ritual. It's like, you get up, boom, bang, I make coffee. Where's my coffee pot? There you go. There's my coffee pot. <laughs> That's the first thing I do when I get up. I get up and I go oh, straight, to my, straight to the kitchen and make coffee for us. That's routine, that's my ritual. What happens after that? I drink my coffee from the TV, half an hour, plan out my day, bang, and I go for my run. It's all about, that way it gives you direction with, with, a, with a morning ritual. You need to try that because it will set you where you want to go. I'm pretty sure when they had the mission, the mission to fly the man to the moon, now, their mission was 
Earth, moon, moon, earth. There was no detour. They didn't say, oh, let's, let's go right and let's, let's go to Mars for a little while. Or let's go down to Mercury or let's go to Jupiter. No, it wasn't. It was directly to where they go. So a ritual, a routine will help you with consistency. Because consistency is the right path where you want to go, even at times when there are setbacks, when you're not getting the results. Don't be in such a hurry. This is what I say to a lot of people when it comes to losing weight for a very last time. For the first 25 years, I tried many, many diets with good intentions, with actually great intentions. And did I get results? Absolutely. But they were quick results because I won it quickly. So consistency is where you do things even at times we have not doing it. But you know why you're doing it. You know what the payoff is. You know what the reward is. You know your why and you know what you get back from your investment because that's what it is. So I want you to really think about it. I want you to grab pen and paper and write down the reasons why you want to lose weight for the very last time. That will help you to keep consistent throughout the time when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. And focus and take responsibility for the process. That's consistency. Not, the results are going to be there, but focus on the process or how you're going to get there. Over the years, people are not really interested in the amount of weight I lost, the 80 kilos I lost. What they're more interested in is the process. How do I get there? What did I come across? What struggles? What barriers? Did I have any plateaus? What food did I try? What exercise did I tried? It's all about the journey. Because people want to know what to expect, is to be proactive. And this is why, joining my group and, and being mentored by me, you're being mentored with 20 years of experience of keeping the weight off. And that includes the time in losing the weight. I can anticipate of what's going to happen, or what's going to come across. And you need someone like me to reassure you, to mentor you, to say, hey, that's okay. You'll come across that. That's normal. <laughs> it's when we don't feel that's normal. But if I told you that, yes, you'll lose weight quickly, and then you'll plateau, and then you're not getting the results, and then you're going to have setbacks, and then you're going to be people telling you you can't do it, and then there's going to be people around you that's going to be a bad influence, and then people are going to tell you this is a super fit. That's all going to happen. That's all part of the process, the journey, the steps that you'll be taking along the way to lose some weight. Are you going to feel demotivated? Yes. I don't have motivation 24-7. A lot of people don't have motivation 24-7. We all have our ups and downs. But, and we all have had our setbacks, but we have not given up on the big picture, the plan. And, and yes, discipline is, is the bridge between goals and accomplishments, but consistency pushes you with the discipline all the time. Discipline and consistency works in together. If you don't have one or the other, then your journey to lose the weight for the very last time will be a struggle. It doesn't matter all the reasons why you want to do it, you can talk about it, and that's great because that gets the juices happening. But action that produces motivation is built upon momentum upon momentum. And I'm pretty sure that you have heard all of this. All of it. I'm just here to remind you. I'm just here to reassure you and guide you and mentor you that, that it's all possible. And, and, and find out what you love and do it. And do it over and over and over, whatever it is. Because that's going to make it more enjoyable all the time and using reminders in your environment is also going to help reminders of what you're doing it for and, and why 
So I get very passionate about this because I know what you can expect on the other side when you lose weight for a very last time. And the, the amount of joy and reward and, 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 and self-esteem and confidence it gives you. And don't give in. Don't give in to the quick fixes and the broken promises out there that's going to help it. And it's hard work. Like, there's no doubt. I'm not going to sit here and, and say to you, yes, you'd be okay. But it's hard work. It's hard work losing weight. It's not rocket science. It's hard in the sense that everybody wants results really quickly. Think about it. Think about all the diets you've been on, all the struggles you've been on, and how many times you've been on a diet on a Monday and you've given up on the Tuesday and Wednesday because you're not getting the results. But you won't get the results because ask yourself this question. Are you being consistent? Are you, so for example, I want you to make a promise to yourself of how many times that you can exercise this week. Doesn't matter what it is. Have a plan. Is it once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week? Pick a number, work out a number, a number that is realistic to you in, in, in exercising. So let's pick a number, twice a week. How long can you exercise for? Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? 10 minutes. Okay, there you go. Promise yourself that you will exercise twice a week for 10 minutes. Now, if you're doing that consistently, week in, week out, week in, week out, then that's being consistent. And then once you get into that momentum and you build those new habits, then you can up the game on how many times and how long for. That's all about being consistent. Consistency is all about being realistic about the goals you have set. Because if your goals aren't realistic and your expectations don't meet your, your, your goals, have a look at your goals. You may need to adjust them. So for example, if you have a goal to lose 10 kilos, in three weeks, is that realistic? Is it, is it realistic, realistic? Are you gonna be consistent? Are you gonna burn yourself out? Are you able to do it for the rest of your life? So first of all, if, if you find that you're not being able to be consistent, go back to the drawing board. Have a look at your goals. Have a look at your timeline, if you have one. Have a look at your expectations. Are they realistic? Are you putting too much pressure on yourself to do this? Who told you this? So consistency comes down to a lot of different areas in which you need to look at. But we need to embrace the reality. Consistency is planning and sticking to that routine and making it convenient. Lose the excuses and most of all, make it enjoyable because if it's not enjoyable and you're going to hate it, that means you're not going to do it and you're going to resent it and it's not going to happen. Or here's my goal. This is my expectations. You do it for the first week, the second week, you're not getting the results. And then guess what? You stop doing it. That's not being consistent. I want you to really think about it and really ask yourself that why you aren't being consistent. I've been consistent now for close to 20 years, but it hasn't always been there. We're not born with consistency. It's not something that we all inherit in our DNA. It is an area that we all need to learn and to read and to understand. That's what helps us with consistency. It's, it's something that we need to find something that works for us. 
So it's really good to watch other people losing weight for the very last time and their transformational stories and how they go about it because that gives us hope. And with hope, it gives us a smile on our face, knowing that what you want to achieve someone has already achieved it or other people are achieving because we don't know where they're at in their journey. One of the other reasons why people aren't consistent is they start to compare themselves with someone else. You don't do that. You don't compare yourself because we don't know the situation. And plus, you're in a unique situation and you are a unique person. You're one of a kind. And, and we get into that rut where we start to say, well, look at him and or look at her and look at them and then we get down and depressed and then we get emotionally and then we stop doing what we're doing and then we resort to food or whatever our pleasures and we start to go into our vicious circle so please don't give up there will be setbacks there will be times when you're not getting the results as quick enough but you need to ask yourself the, the truth and the real questions that are you being consistent and, and your goals, are they realistic in the time frame that you want to achieve them? I had to adjust my goals along the way as well. I record when I was into my, my third month of losing weight and I was plateauing. And even though I was doing all the exercises and eating all the foods and I was in a really good mindset, my weight just stopped. It didn't go backwards, it just plateaued. So how did I overcome that? How did I keep consistent? Well, throughout my time, and I'm talking, when I started my weight loss journey back in 2003, I just wrote everything into a book, which I turned into a journal, which then I converted my journal into my published book, If I Can, You Can. So I wrote things down. And back then, all I did was put things into days. Now I have this wonderful planner, the Ultimate Weight Loss Planner, which is a free download, 150 pages, that has all the information and has all the areas in which you can log and track your food, your movement, and how you feel and what you're, how you're feeling so you can track it because that data is very useful to really pinpoint why am I plateauing. So if you look at, at a a life, I, I draw a line, a graph. So you draw this line and you're yep, losing the weight and coming back down and you're plateauing and you go back to your journal, go back to your planner and you can look at the data and you go, up. Oh, okay, I can see why I'm plateauing or I can see why I'm losing. I wasn't being consistent or I, I didn't enter in my food or, or whatever the case may be, the data really helps you track it. And that's all about being consistent. Someone asked me the other day on the group that, you know, enter information into their app to, to track their macros. And I just said simply, put an alarm into your phone. To me, the technology, that, the technology we have now is unbelievable. <clears throat> then we had, you know, when I lost my weight for the very last time 20 years ago, I just used pen to paper. So by putting an alarm, a reminder in your phone to, to, to enter in your data into your app, it's a great way because once you've done that, say for the first two or three or four weeks, then you won't need the alarm because then you'll form that new habit. You've got that routine. So, so please don't give up because you're not getting the results or you're having setbacks consistency and being and doing things and repeating not just for one day or for one week or for one month i mean over a, a, a period of time depends on what your goals are what you've set and 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 making sure that they're realistic it's going to help you be consistent throughout your time of losing weight for the very last time there are so many facets when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. So many variables. There is so much information. A lot of people or companies promising you 
their solutions and their methods in how to lose weight. There's always going to be, it's, it's a jungle out there when it comes to all of this. But like anything else, find what works for you and find what is convenient and enjoyable and that suits your lifestyle because there is not a one fit approach for everyone because we are all in different situations. So once you find that, and once you find something that you can work with, and that is convenient, and has no excuses, and you enjoy it, then focus and take responsibility on the process, and run with it, and don't stop. Trust yourself. Trust in the process, trust in the enjoyment, and find out what you love and do it and do it all the time. That's what it is. I don't have any magic pills or solutions, but I've done it, I've lost it, I've kept it off, and I can put you into that mindset and mentor you in the right direction towards losing weight for the very last time. So I hope this chat has really helped you. You've learned something from it or it's prompted you because you may already know all of this anyhow. At times, we just need a nudge. We just need a little push or word that will help us along the way and push us. You're not alone. And, you, you, and you're not the only one who wants to lose weight for the very last time. So I just want you to, the, the take home message from this whole video about consistency is to make it enjoyable and to find what you love and you do it. <clears throat> and, and having that ritual or having that time in which you can do it time after time after time and sticking to it, sticking to your routine is going to help you with consistency. Yes, we're going to have challenges. Yes, there's always going to be a party. There's always going to be uh, food. There's always going to be something. There's always going to be, but we can't look at that and blame us. Yes, we'll come up to the festive season and there's all these parties and all these free food. So don't let that stop you from being consistent. Don't forget the reasons why you started. So all of this is going to contribute towards being consistent and losing weight for the very last time. Don't look for an excuse. Don't look for a way out. Look for a way in. And that is you making sure that you embrace the reality and you stick to a routine that will give that consistency, look at your goals, plan it, have your right expectations so you can move forward. So I get very passionate about this because there's so much bullshit out there that people are, are, are just saying, and I see the same constant question all the time, I wanna lose weight, I don't know how to lose weight. We all know how to lose weight. We all know what junk food is, we all know that we're not moving enough, we all know this. But you need people like me, people that will set you into the right direction, headspace. You've got everything. You just need that guide, you just need that mentoring, and, and that, that reassurance, and that hope that you too can lose weight for the very last time, like so many of us. I really hope that you get the most from this group and we can learn from others and help each other. And yes, my job, what I do, my passion is to mentor people. One-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't matter where you live or where you are, what's your situation, we zoom in and I can help you stay accountable, we can get through, we can discover why you feel stuck, or you're not able to move through things. You know what to do, but you're not doing it. So how do we move to the next step? How do we keep on going? That's where I come in. I come in 
and I mentor you. But today is all about being consistent. It's all about showing up. And 90% that's all you need to do is show up. And yes, there will be setbacks, but never ever give up on you and your goals. And that is to lose weight for the very last time. Once again, I'm Silvestro, known as the Weight Loss King, the admin of person of losing weight for the very last time. And I want you to walk away today <coughs> knowing that consistency all comes down to you and making sure that you lose the excuses, you make it convenient, you plan it out, you embrace the change, but most of all, you enjoy it. Until next time, I want you to live your best life so you can lose weight for the very last time. I'll see you soon.